Hi, my name is Dini and this is my channel. I usually talk about mostly non-Buddhist stuff, but I've just been compelled to talk about like more nature and Buddhist stuff. So um, this video, um, Bacon's gonna join us. He's my dog. Anyway, so this video is going to be about the basics, about the uh, ten worlds, or basically just explaining it for lay people and also for me as well to kind of what you call that review the basics of nature and Buddhism and what makes it different from the other forms of Buddhism that people practice and also to make it accessible for people so I was um, so the topic basically right now is the 10 worlds and I'm gonna be making it more relatable to people uh, so that people will better understand how like it works and uh, the practicalities of using this teaching to improve and enhance their lives. So I was driving like a few days ago and I, I, I was just thinking like how can I best explain the 10 worlds to people to make it more relatable to people that don't really know much about Nichiren Buddhism or maybe they're practicing and then they stopped practicing because like they couldn't really understand like the importance of chanting nam myoho renge kyo uh, and practicing Nichiren Buddhism. So I came up with this um, concept, which is a concept that I found in, in, in books about law of attraction and stuff, but I'm just going to be uh, relating it to Nichiren Buddhism. So the 10 worlds are basically like radio stations. So the 10 worlds are hell, hunger, anger, animality, um, what is that? humanity, uh, tranquility, and then there's like learning, realization, bodhisattva, and Buddhahood. So there's 10 worlds. Basically what it means is that it's like a radio station, right? And whatever world or awareness or consciousness you're in, in at that moment, that is what you're going to experience in your everyday reality or your reality for that moment. Uh, and I'm going to actually have a whiteboard because like I like to explain stuff. So I'm going to like, I'm going to put the dog down first. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to show you like an illustration. So this is my whiteboard. So I really like to point out. So it's like a radio station with a radio dial, right? Um, so let's say it's an FM station and this is when you change the frequency because like our brain waves basically are frequency. So when you turn the dial and you go to the lower channels or stations, it's like hell, hunger, anger, and malady. So you, you tune it. Humanity, tranquility, learning, realization, bodhisattva, and Buddhahood. So when you are in a state of hell, let's say you tune in your the frequency of your brain or your consciousness, and you tune into hell. So basically hell, when you are at that radio station, it's like a lot of fighting, may even present as external or internal fighting as well. External or internal fighting. They, literally, you could be in a war zone too, you know. Um, and it, externally, of course, war zone. Internally, you're in a state of hell. You're just like in despair. And then hunger, of course, is when it could also mean literal hunger. It could also mean internal hunger, which is like addiction and like you feel like not satiated with all of the things you're doing. Let's say you have an addiction. Uh, so that's hunger. Anger, of course, could also be 
external and internal anger. So let's say you, your life condition or your station of your brain waves or your consciousness is tuned into anger. It could also mean, you know, inner anger or also could be directed at someone as well. And also people directing anger at you, you could get into a fight. So animality is man versus man. Uh, basically the the baser instincts yeah let's say at the office workplace there's a lot of competition and also could mean like your baser instincts are like at play um maybe like sexual addiction or like really like just your animal instincts, a lot of anger, frustration, and everything. Um, and humanity yeah. is basically you're just at peace. Uh, same with tranquil. Uh, oh yeah, I think it's this one is heaven, not tranquility. Sorry about that. Humanity and tranquility are kind of the same. So you're at peace right now for the moment. That could be external. You're in the spa. Could be internal as well. You're at peace with yourself but this is only temporary because let's say you're at the spa and then someone plays loud music so that peace is like dependent on external circumstances so and then there's heaven when all of your desires are achieved so let's say you tune in your dial your radio station and your desires are achieved let's say you a uh, earn a promotion or you got money you won the lottery or whatever it could be you know you get married honeymoon effect but we know this is also temporary as well because this is based on external uh circumstances so then we go to the higher four worlds which is learning realization bodhisattva and buddhahood so learning is more like doesn't have anything to do with external circumstances the higher four worlds is dependent not of whatever goes out in reality like your external circumstances which means it's you're kind of more stable doesn't matter if you know it's raining outside or it's chaotic you're in that state of learning uh, for me i'm in this in this state a lot and also in this state a lot realization uh, so basically you're learning not just Buddhism, you're learning like you know, how the world works, more like you're tuned in to learning about reality, your life. Um, I was, you know, I'm a certified hypnotist, so I definitely learned a lot of modalities as well. So that's learning. Realization when you get that light bulb moment. Sorry, light bulb. I don't know how to draw a light bulb. When you just realize like, oh my God, like there's a connection to everything. And bodhisattva is when you are very altruistic. So a lot of people, you know, they live in this state where they're just altruistic. Uh, they live for helping other people. Uh, but what I'm doing right now, teaching you about Nichiren Buddhism and teaching you why it's important to chant Namyo Renge Kyo, that is also a form of uh, Bodhisattva or they call it sainthood but basically I'm teaching you how to enter into the higher four worlds. So Buddhahood, this is the highest that we all want to attain. Uh, of course in this lifetime when you see the connection like you understand karma you understand like how reality works um, you're happy no matter what so you're just in a state of happiness they call it like nirvana or anything but um, basically doesn't matter what your external circumstances are like what's happening you're just happy no matter what and you're just you have courage you have wisdom it's like the highest attainment for any buddhist or for any human being so basically when you chant nam myo ho renge kyo and i started here so my radio station before was here i was in hell actually for many years i was 
basically um, depressed and nothing outside of myself was making me happy. I was trapped. Like I was very introverted. And then when I, and I also was here too, hunger and anger. I had a lot of anger, like animality, like competition, man versus man. I had a lot of these too. The hunger, literal hunger too. There was a time in my life when I was just anxious. I was starving myself. So it could also mean literal hunger, not just like external hunger, but you know, making yourself hungry. Addictions as well, it falls in there. And I had a lot of, I had road rage too. Like I was like really bad before I started chanting Nam Myoho I was just angry all the time. Does, does it mean that just because I'm chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo that I can't fall into those lower life states? I can, but I snap out of it. So I can like easily turn the knob. So humanity. And then when I started chanting, I found peace, humanity. And then, you know, my desires were fulfilled. But then, you know, it's very short-lived too because once your desires are fulfilled, like, okay, what's next? But then I found myself, like, just... I've been chanting for almost 20 years, so it takes a while. But I found myself always, like, right now, my baseline is the four worlds. You know, um, learning, realization, bodhisattva, and Buddhahood. And... You know, it's more internal based, like nothing outside of myself. Sometimes it does, um, but then I snap back. So that's the thing. Why do we need to chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo? So we need to chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Sorry about that. We need to chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo because people that don't chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, they're stuck in these lower four worlds they're literally stuck they can't turn the dial they can't they're just like tuned into that no matter what they do they're just like this one is broken you know they can't tune into a different brain frequency a different level of consciousness they can't it's just like stuck but when you chant nam myoho renge kyo you can I'm not saying that it doesn't exist. This, these states are part of uh, our, our states as human beings, but they can't snap out of it. You know, you've seen people that are just in hell. They're just depressed or they're literal, literal hell for years, for decades. You know, hunger, addiction, everything like that. They're just stuck there because their dial is broken. They cannot tune out of those frequencies brain frequencies, level of consciousness, level of awareness, their like, their awareness, consciousness, brain waves, brain patterns, uh, I don't know what else to call it, but yeah, that they're just stuck there. But when you chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, you can access the higher four worlds. It's kind of messy right now, but basically, yeah, so that's my explanation. Um, radio waves radio stations and yeah i got this idea i really love him uh he's like the law of attraction um author but he uses it for manifestation but me i'm like just using it to explain his concept to explain the higher like or the different levels of consciousness and why we need to chant nam myoho renge kyo we need to chant nam myoho renge kyo so the dial we can change the dial, which we have the ability, but sometimes we forget that there is a dial that can be changed. We can access uh, our higher levels of mind. We really can. And we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo because it's the direct, it's literally the, the re reason why we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is to attain Buddhahood or the higher life conditions, you know, happy happiness, you see the connection, you see your life purpose, you know how karma works, you know how reality works, and nothing outside of yourself will make you unhappy, you're just happy within. And at first I was like skeptic, I did not believe in this because I was stuck in hell for years, and I really say hell, hell for years, you know, no movement at all, it was just 
the most horrible place to live. And I know a lot of people live in the lower four worlds, hunger, anger, animality, not just really externally, like externally, it could also mean external and internal. It could also mean both, you know, literal, like the place that you're living is a literal hell, war-torn country, war zone, could also be you're living in like the bad part of the town, um, you know, and hunger as well. You're, the people that you're with, they, they kind of like are tuned into the same radio station of hunger. So you have friends that are addicts, probably uh, alcoholics, drug addicts, or you're like hunger, hunger for attention, hunger for whatever, hunger for love um, and anger. Of course, you could literally, it could be internal or external, external could meaning meaning like maybe you know your friends and family are always like in a state of anger so there's a lot of animosity and stuff like that and the world of anim animality man versus man just a lot of competition just the, the baser instincts are at play um or you could be one of the lucky ones that are like just in a state of tranquility or heaven but as i said those things are perm uh, not permanent they're like um they depend on external circumstances because as i said you could be in a state of tranquility right now but when you have a problem you are easily disturbed and also your desires too your desires can be achieved but then after let's say you get a new house but then it comes with you're happy, but it comes with a set of its own problems. So when you chant Nam Myo Ho Renge Kyo, you're in the higher four worlds, uh, hopefully Buddhahood, nothing outside of yourself will disturb your peace. And you understand that desires are, fulfillment of desires are temporary and that you understand cause and effect actually. Yeah, and Buddhahood is really nice, uh, you know, I've been in that state like I'm just like so happy like no matter what and that's the thing about chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is you are no longer a victim to external reality you can actually control you have control of the dial and to control the dial to change your frequency vibration um, brain waves consciousness awareness in order to change that, you just have to chant Nam Myo Ho Renge Kyo. You're in control of the dial. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been of help. I'm going to use another analogy.